Hey guys, so I figured while I'm kind of like on a roll this camera, I would just show you my very small kind of cloth nappy stash, um, or cloth diaper stash, depending on wherever you are in the world. Um, it's very, very small, because what I'm doing is I'm kind of, you know, having used cloth nappy, sorry, cloth menstrual pads, I've kind of, you know, I've made the decision that when I'm old, I really want a cloth diaper. I, like, who wants to put the chemicals near their kid's skin? Seriously. Um, but I have a very, very small stash I'm just starting up with. And uh, these are just basically small things I'm collecting over time. And what I'm doing is I'm watching uh, nappy sites. Every now and then I'll go on one and I'll see if there's a really good deal on a particular nappy that's like unisex. Um, I'll look at my how much money I have and whether I can really afford it and I'll buy it. So like slowly over time I can build up a stash of like the best brands. So that's what I'm aiming to do. And if you've got any brands that um, you've used and would really recommend, please leave them down below. I'm not like too totally fond of pocket nappies. Um, I've used them on my cousin, um, and I didn't like them at all. So I've mainly got um, fitteds, prefolds, uh, covers, and all-in-ones. Okay, so I'll just show you very quickly. It's very small, as I said, so please bear that in mind. Okay, this is the box I keep them in, like, in my closet out there. And, uh, yeah, so I'll start over here. Right, this is the all-in-one I made myself. Just in case any of you guys are interested, I guess. Um, it's got, hang on, it's so hard to open this thing. Oh, put you down. Okay, so, opened up. It's got a lining of suede cloth and two layers of Zorb inside it. Um, just a stitch down the centre for a wicking stitch. And it's backed in a uh, sandwich P well. And I did, like, the elastic and everything, around the legs and all that sort of stuff. Um, I meant to stitch this loop tape on before I stitched the backing on, but it doesn't really matter. You know, I'll do it next time. So the great thing about suede cloth is that you can actually turn the tabs over and they will stick to the suede cloth without needing a specific tab. I mean, it's probably bad for the suede cloth, but, you know, it's saving me money. So whatever. Okay? That's that. And then um, the covers are over here. This is a P.U.L. cover I made, again, for Premier a baby. Uh, P.U.L. doesn't fray like fleece, so you can basically do it like this. Um, especially sandwich P.U.L. I mean, this isn't just the this is just the last bit of sandwich P.U.L. I have left over when I just order some for fun. So really and truly, I would use single-sided P.U.L. so that you know you've got the shiny side in here and the soft side out here, so you can just wipe it clean. But uh, I figured as I only had some sandwich left, I might as well use them up. Um, I've changed my design since here. I've actually extended the tabs because they're a little bit short when I tried them out on my little, um, my cousin's doll over there. But yeah. So, you can see just they're a little bit short. But, yeah, if, it'll, if it's alright, it'll be good for a newborn. So yeah. Um, and then I had these two. Oh, sorry, there's another one. But, uh, it's, I was practicing putting a fold on that doll. So this is like the biggest size. This is kind of like a P.U.L. cover, but it's a mother care. And this is like four years old, I kind of say. And uh, like, there's no wear at all. And I have actually used this on my cousin when he was very little. And you can see it's got this thing in the middle. And it's currently got like the, the disposable thing in it because I can't find anywhere else to put it. But like, I'm, I don't want to use the disposables in it. And they don't make these anymore. Yeah, so those are my covers. And then I have uh, this all-in-one, which I really like. This is a teddy nappy by Bambi Next, and uh, it's really soft, it's the microfiber, microfiber it like absorbs super quickly and also dries super quickly so it's a good one if you don't want to use a tumble dryer. Um, this one's adjustable, it has little snaps so you can like shorten them, of course I can't do it one handed but you would like fold it over, find the other snap, do do do, here's the, here's the other one, snap it there and like you do the other side and then it will be shortened for a newborn. This one goes, I don't know exactly, but I think it's like a newborn up to a, a one year old, something like that. And then like when it, they get older you can put this booster pad inside. And it's got a fleece lining, so you don't need to worry about using a disposable, which is great I think. So um, yeah, oh and it's got like laundry tabs. Yeah, and a really long bit here for a tiny baby, so I thought it looked good and mum offered to buy this for me when I was really sick because I was just needed cheering up. And then I get on to my kind of flats and prefolds and stuff. I don't actually have any, as it, prefolds, you know, proper prefolds. I have these as muslins. Muslins are really good, actually, um, from my experience and stuff. 
I mean, obviously, I don't have my own child, but from babysitting constantly, like, all the kids I babysit get a cloth nappies put on them, and I babysit them. But anyway, so here are some Terry nappy. Oh, sorry, no, that's not true. Uh, these are the kind of the prefolds. These are the mother care ones, and they have what I think is like a. They say bamboo viscous, but I think it's actually zorb in here, like a layer of zorb, and then two layers of microfiber terry on each side, and you kind of just fold them up and put them in those nappy covers I showed you before. And um, they're super absorbent. I mean, I've used them on one of them. And there's two smalls and a large there. Anyway, then here are the, all the muslins. I got like a multi pack. Yeah, and then here is the terry nappies. And if I'm using this for an older child, usually what I use is I'll fold the muslin up with like the angel wrap, the angel wing style, and I'll fold this over into kind of, I mean, not this shape, but you know fold it up and put it inside and then that'll give it like a lot of extra absorbency because this is like 10 layers when folded so it's really good so um yeah I guess if you're interested in that kind of stuff then this would have been kind of interesting to you but uh, I just figured I'd show you that because it's something that was kind of interested to me and I'd be really um interested to know what your guys opinions are you know do you want a cloth diaper your kids do you already do that um using cloth nappies or whatever oh, yeah nappies and diapers are the same thing by the way um, so yeah, what, what do you think? You know, any of the younger ones that you plan to do what I'm doing, you know, cloth, use cloth nappies on your kids, or um, did you find out about menstrual pads through cloth nappies and stuff? Okay, so thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.